chance, be a man, take my hand, understand. I don't want no minute man. Hello, welcome to the kingdom of love. This is Dr. Nelson talking to you. This the topic we have uh, today is bad sex makes women sick. Well, this topic arises from a, a, a young lady who is right now she's 22. Uh, she came to my office and she said she's experiencing some pain uh, around her loin, around her back, and she can't even bend and straighten up very easily. And I asked her, at what age did you start uh, having sex? And she said, well, I started having sex when I was 16. And right now she's 22. And from my experience, Lord, in relationship, I realized this could be a cause really of pain in those areas whereby a woman who is not having sex of good quality, she's experiencing pain. Because I come across a, serious, a, a certain case whereby I myself, when my wife passed away, in 1999, I stayed without uh, without a woman for uh, five years. After five years, and then I started having relationships with ladies, and I, I came across a lady who had the same kind of pain. And when she started enjoying sex with me, that those pains disappeared. But not only so, studies show that the numbers of women who are in a mental hospitals is greater among women than among men. So many of the mental institutions patients are women. Why? You might have heard this before. Women are emotional beings. When we call women as emotional beings, that's a big statement that what goes on in a woman's spirit, a woman's mind affects her body. So whatever goes in a woman's mind, if it's unpleasant, it affects her physically as well. Now, this is, uh, is it might be hard for some people to understand, but I want to let you know this. If you have an experience with women, you realize women are the ones who really will bring up some noises when they're really enjoying the sexual act itself. They really enjoy it and they express it in a, some certain, certain sounds. Those sounds uh, demonstrate that this woman is experiencing more joy and pleasure than a man does and you can be a witness to this if you've had a uh, sexual partner more than two or three you can realize this and it's true and the sexual act itself a, a woman enjoys more if she gets a partner who is good in bed and therefore when a woman has experienced the pleasure of sex in a way that she has never experienced before, when she stops having those same kind of feelings, same kinds of pleasures, she will start suffering even physically as well. Now, I've come across a lady uh, who is 59 when her husband passed away and she asked me what are the signs of someone who is suffering mentally after having her husband passed away. So I asked her, well, the reason you are suffering right now because you are missing something you used to have. And I asked her, are you getting irritated very easily? She said, yes, that's one of the symptoms. When a woman is not having enough sex or sufficient sex, she will be easily irritated. And this is something which is going to affect the whole relationship. I was watching a, a video clip of Dr. Phillips who is very famous in the US. And she said, he said this, Dr. Phillips, he says, when sex goes, goes very well, it contributes 10% of the quality of the whole relationship. But if that particular area, something goes wrong, it's going to disturb and destroy that relationship of the eight of 90 percent of, of the, the troubles in the relationship will be uh, uh, coming from the way a woman is not being satisfied sexually and therefore every man has got an obligation to see this you know why as you have experienced yourself it takes uh, a, a longer time for a woman to reach a climax according to research a woman need a foreplay of not less than 14 minutes and that for a lot of men, it's a long time. Men with problems of premature ejaculation or erection problems will have a hard time to really find the energy to prepare a woman for less than 10 minutes. A lot of men will just try to pleasurize a woman for five minutes and then everything is over. 
but a woman needs not less than 15 minutes of proper preparations and some people say not less than 20 and therefore if you want to really make a woman really feel uh, satisfied sexually you need to know exactly what to do in her body short of that you will always be leaving someone who's unsatisfied the thing is she won't be always be able to tell you that she's not happy about your performance she won't tell you and because she won't tell you deep down in her heart she will start shutting down and you will hear a lot of women saying well i have no feelings for my husband and therefore they will deny their husband sex why because they really don't enjoy it and nobody will do a business which always bring to him loss you want to make a profit in any business and therefore when a woman realizes she's not reaching orgasm most of the times when she's having sex automatically she will start shutting down and she'll have no feelings at all she'll have no feelings at all for the man he has in her life and this is a dangerous place to be in in any relationship and therefore my viewers i just want to bring this challenge to you you need to make sure that you have got enough skills to make a woman reach climax because if you fail to do that number one your woman will always be angry at you and won't know. Number two, she will start avoiding having sex with you. Number three, she will not be an exciting person in your life. And that's a dangerous thing to have in a relationship, especially if it's a long-term relationship. And therefore, if your woman is not giving you enough contribution for you to be active enough, for you to perform all the skills that you have in your life, you need to tell her what she needs to do for you to really be encouraged, to be motivated, to be a good person in bed. Because it's true, women will suffer physically when they don't experience enough satisfaction in bed. So you need to learn the skills of really touching her in the right place at the, for the right time. Short of that, you always think you have done a good job while you fell into a job. And therefore, you have an obligation that every day you want to, have, to make love to your partner, you need to know that you've got a work to do. Not only so. Another thing which a lot of men are, are ignoring is that uh, uh, after you finish the act itself, your, mo your woman still needs attention from you. And this attention, of course, comes through the words you say to her, the things you do to her, and all these things will create a memory in her mind that whenever she's interested in uh, making love to anybody, you'll be coming as a number one person. You know what? Our brains has got two areas. There's a, a conscious part of your brain which you can control and there's a subconscious part of the brain which you can control. It's an area where uh, memories of good things are recorded as well as bad things are recorded. And therefore, if you fail to satisfy your woman, this memory is recorded in her mind and you will realize she's starting to become less excited about the issue of making love with you. Therefore, always make it a priority to make sure that your woman is satisfied. I'm Dr. Nelson. You're welcome to send your email. My email is down there. Please do so and it will be a subject for the next video. God bless you. Ooh, here's your chance. Be a man. Take my hand. Understand. I don't want no minute, man.